Hi folks, it's Sid here from Border Archery. Um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and describe um, a stack and how our limb numbers work. Okay, so let's look at a draw force curve. Sorry. It's the most bizarre thing trying to write through a screen, so yeah. Um, okay, so 40 pounds at 28 gives you this part here. Now, this bulge here is preload and then it changes to going inverted, right? And it goes into what's called stack, okay? I would actually argue that stack starts here, but some people say it's just this bit here. Um, mathematically, I'll, I can prove why it's there, right? So, um, what we've got is a scale of one to 10. So one to 10, okay? So there's a scale of one to 10. So a normal limb, where that angle there, so over one inch, yeah? It'll go from 38 up to, right, over one inch, it'll go from 38 up to 40. So it'll gain two pounds, okay? The actual reality of a conventional limb, if we look at them, is more akin to 2.1 pound gain, okay? It depends on the poundage, right, limb length, whatever, right, limb bolt positions. What you'll find is most of the smooth limbs are between two point, um, uh, about 2.15 to 2.05. So 2.1 for the sake of argument, okay? So that's a conventional, that's normal, right? And that's what I would say is a one. Then you've got other limbs, and um, there are other brands available that are a little bit smoother. So what they talk about is a slightly longer preload right before it starts to go into climbing right so that's where um, it drops down to um, two pounds okay so as you can see that's considerably smoother than other limbs on the market so that's where I would put them at a two okay so what you can then have is limbs with even smoother line right so over that last inch, they only gain one pound, right? So one pound gain would probably be about the halfway line. And I say it's about the halfway line because what happens when you've got a smooth back part of the draw? Some people say that's not possible, but we've been selling our hex nine limbs, um, which is dead pan back smooth from uh, 24 through to 29 on a 60 inch bow medium limbs, right? So there is no such thing as stack. Yeah? Um, so they're, they're what I would class as a nine, right? So they have no pound gain, all right? So on a scale of one to 10, one being conventional, 10 being a let off, which has been done, Okay, so there's your 10 with an actual minus value, whereas that's, well, that's zero, and that's a plus value, and that's a plus value, and that's a plus value, right? On a scale of 1 to 10, okay, we make a 2, a 5, and a 9. The 5 is halfway between the 2 and the 9, okay? 9 has no gain. 2 is 2 pounds, with a little bit smoother than a conventional 1, right? 1's like datum, okay? So on a scale of 1 to 10... We do that. Now, in theory, our ILF longbow limb could be considered a one. Okay, but it's not really conventional in that sense. Um, but yeah, one. So we do a one, a two, a five, and a nine. All right? So that's the scale of one to 10. And it's all to do with the amount of energy that you get. Because if you've got a steep part here, that means you've had a long concave section. So you've lost all that energy in there. Okay, so the smoother you are, it generally means that you've got more energy stored because you've got less concave. More convex, less concave. So the more convex you have, the more energy you have, which generally means you end up smoother. Okay, so there you go. Thanks for watching.